today we're gonna <coughs> fix leaking cylinders in this pocket so first you have to do is remove the bolt that holds your pin remove the pull the pin out and I like to undo this nut while it's still holding there so I don't remove the cylinder fully just disconnect this line so the cylinder could suck the air inside while I pull the rod out <coughs> so it's really simple so just use a spanner and twist this out and push this pin and pull this rod outside so after that we need to disassemble it when you got it out it looks something like this so this is your gland nut this is your piston and piston has seals on it so if you have a cylinder drift it's due to this middle due to this middle seal so that middle seal is actually sealing and pushing your cylinder one way or the other so in this nut you have just one o-ring that prevents it from leaking through the threads out and on the inside you have few seals and the first thing you need to do when you tend to repair it uh, on JCB on all of the JCB cylinders they have a locking pin so you need to remove this uh, uh, this has a function of bearing so these two so the metal doesn't rub on the cylinder wall so this is actually like a piston ring but or in, in, in catalog, uh, in some cases, they call it a bearing, cylinder bearing. So it's hard plastic and just prevents it from rubbing on the cylinder wall. So <clears throat> I already uh, removed this. <clears throat> this is your locking pin. So don't try to undo the nut until you pull this stuff out. It has a M3 thread, so you just use like a regular uh, M3 bolt and just screw it in and use your pliers and pull it out it's fairly easy to get it out after you've done that put it in the vise uh, it's kind of tricky with one hand use your impact and just I already loosened that just it would be easier for me to take a video <clears throat> so you just unscrew it, you remove this gland nut, <clears throat> don't lose any parts, so this is what we need, this is from the, some of these are from the other cylinders, the uh, cylinder that I repaired on the left side, so we're gonna start with, uh, with this one, so you see this this green stuff that's your scraper so this one is quite badly damaged uh, this green scraper just uh, holds the dirt so it doesn't go inside and and damage the seal so this is actually just a scraper I'm gonna try to remove you just use a pick or a flathead screwdriver but it has to be like really really small Tricky with one hand. Just give me a second. Most probably you'll break it just like I did because it's so brittle. So this is your scraper ring. <coughs> just throw it, you don't need that. And on the inside now you can see. Let me try to show you so. On this first groove is your scraper ring. On the second groove is actual seal that holds the oil from leaking. So you need to remove that one also. I will show you what it looks like. You just push your pick behind it and just break it out. So it has like a small little o-ring inside there. It's just so old, everything's falling apart. Uh, this is not the best idea to film it with the phone. Just give me a second there. <clears throat> there we go. I 
Almost got it out. Ah, come on. This is your seal that prevents oil from leaking out. After that, you just use brake, brake cleaner and just spray everything inside. You can use air. <clears throat> Just to give it a quick dry. So this is basically it for the nut. Uh, yeah, I forgot this. I need to remove this one also. Then you have to get your uh, replacement kit. So this fits for JCB 1CX and some other some other models i think some stuff from jcb1 fits on jcb3 and 4 and just they use as much as the same stuff as possible depends on the cylinder diameter and the length uh, and the uh, uh, thickness of the ram so <clears throat> we're gonna use all this so these are the bearings this is the uh, seal for the for the piston just the middle one uh, <clears throat> this one is fucker this one is the trickiest to get in so we're gonna clean this put this back this one is absolute nightmare to get it in and this is your scraper ring and this is the o-ring that goes inside here so it prevents leaking in, on the inside thread, so you can see it right there. And this is the big one. This is the big one that goes on the outside of this. We're gonna start with that because it's the easiest one. It's not that big of a deal. It's just the trickiest part is to get that one. Uh, go inside, go inside. Trickiest part is to get that that one inside, that white one. That's just fuck. It's just nightmare. I'm not sure how will I uh, video that. I will try. I will do my best. Maybe I will get my uh, friend to hold the phone for me while while I install it. We'll see. Okay, I'll try to do that. I put the phone on some kind of improvised stand. And now I will try to install this seal, so you'll be able to see it. First off, what we need to do, just heat it up a little bit. I uh, put it in warm, warm water. So basically, you need to do, you need to make shape like this. <clears throat> it's kind of tricky. So you need to make shape like that. Oh come on, you piece of! It's just twisting. <clears throat> you need to make shape like heart so it will be easier for you to get it in so don't be afraid to twist it because it won't break it's just <clears throat> it's just tricky really tricky so just try to hold it with your thumb and uh, push it in not like that exactly but way easier when you're removing the bigger cylinders these small ones are just pain in the pain in everything not just ass but you can get your fingers cut you can get your uh, it's just come on you piece of shit 
Uh, there you go. So it's almost there. Now you just need to align it. <coughs> there you go. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. Just see, and it just popped in by itself. It's not that hard when you know the technique, but so next you install your scraper ring. That's the easy one. Just uh, and of course. There you go. Just more. There you go. So, O-ring, seal, and your scraper ring. Uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you that you need to make sure that your scraper rings, scraper ring, where is the old one? There it is. So, this is the old scraper ring. It needs to go, this rubber seal, it needs to go towards the cylinder like this. So, because it seals oil from this side, not from the other one. If you put it the wrong way around it will leak straight away so this is it for the nut now we're gonna do, we're gonna do the piston so <clears throat> I'm gonna start with the easiest one just put this o-ring inside that seals the oil from leaking from the treads after that we're gonna put oh, we're gonna put this so it's two-piece seal you have a rubber seal and the plastic seal i need to remove this tape uh, how do i do that i need a blade ah it's going uh it's not a bad idea to hit this one also in the warm water <clears throat> this one shouldn't give you any problems because it's just rubber just make sure that it does not twist inside this is it now to put this one use the same technique at least I do this one goes a little bit tighter but it's still I replaced a few on Kubota's, Kubota's and uh, it's really, really tight. This one is fairly simple. Kubota is ooh, way harder. So this one is in. All we have left now is these bearings. Let's call it that way. So you put that one and you leave the forward one because you need to align this hole and install the and install the locking pin once you tighten this on the on the rod. Okay, we can continue. Uh, next, clean off. Yeah. Use the. you need to find your hole for the pin so it's right there we're gonna turn it around so it will be easier for me to see yeah so it's right here so we got everything installed and very important thing tread locker and just put it there quite some because you don't want this to get loose and it can do a lot of damage, trust me, I've seen everything. So. As I was installing this rod in, I realized I forgot to put this nut on. So I went back in the shop, disassemble everything and put the nut, put the nut in. Don't do the same mistake as I did, just... I was not paying attention, I was not focused because I was filming a video. And uh, can't do it with one hand. 
Banner, tighten this, put the pins in, and that's it. And you fixed your leaking cylinder. <laughs>